You know, I bought my first stereo from my best friend's father. Um, he managed a local stereo store. I bought a Kenwood receiver, dual turntable, and a pair of Wharfdale speakers. And it uh, must have been 1975, 76. So I was 16, 17 years old, but I had already officially caught the audio bug, and I hadn't even turned 18. In college, I needed a part-time job to help pay the rent, so I uh, converted my love of music and equipment to a sales job at a local hi-fi store, and I absolutely loved it. It cemented this love affair with music and e equipment, audio gear, that remains to this day. Reliable is a third-generation, family-run business that my father started in 1955. At the time, it catered to the industrial sewing machine industry. But I've been running it for 30 plus years, and we've since broadened out to include garment care, steam cleaning products, and of course, lighting. We actually launched uh, the Uberlite brand about 20 years ago as a way to provide more durable, better quality lighting solutions for our industrial sewing machine division. But uh, in 2020, we decided to take a chance and redesigned Uberlite so it could be used in the home as well as a commercial environment. And that's how the Uberlite Flex was born. The Flex's connection to the audio world is uh, it's actually an interesting story because it sort of happened by accident. One day I was home sitting in our music room and at this point I connected pretty seriously with vinyl. Uh, we'd upgraded our entire stereo system after a big house renovation. Anyway, I just pick out an album and I thought, you know what? Why don't I grab one of the new Uber lights and uh, give it a try? That was a bit of a revelation. I noticed how much dust was left behind. Even dead wax was suddenly readable. So I figured if this is helping me, chances are it could help others as well. So I sent an email to a very famous reviewer in the audio world. He agreed to let me send him a sample. He gave it a good review and the rest is history. But two years ago, seeing the success of the Uberlite Flex, we began thinking about a next step. What if our designer set out to design a light specifically for the audio world, for music lovers and audiophiles? We quite literally started with a blank slate and asked ourselves, what's our dream light? We call it Uber Light Frame. We wanted something beautiful, something that would provide a real elevation to the way you interact with your stereo and enjoy your music. From an overall design perspective, the frame is just that, a light that frames your system. Beautiful, but in a way that doesn't overshadow the main event, which is your stereo. Audiophiles love their gear, so we didn't want to be in the way. We wanted to complement even the world's finest audio systems. Mounting flexibility was a huge priority for us, so the frame offers three options. A cleverly designed clamp, a stable base, and a table mount. One of the huge asks from gear folks was the inclusion of a remote control, so we've added one. And I'm as guilty of this as anyone, sitting in my Eames chair with the remote, being able to control the brightness or the color temperature, being able to turn it on and off. This is really luxury to me. To top it off, we include a flashlight feature so you can use the remote, for example, to inspect your stylus for dust. We even found a way to store it inside the fixture head where it recharges. We think it's pretty clever. There's a touch panel for the LEDs that provides absolute control over illumination. Six individual light zones, six brightness levels, three temperature settings. It's incredibly versatile. And when I'm attending to my records, I've got that added precision at my fingertips as well. The frame is a beautiful object. It's a lovely light in any room. I'm just really excited about it. Music, whether I'm streaming or listening to vinyl, continues to be one of the absolute joys of my life. It's an escape, an ever-evolving experience, a world of constant discoveries. And so to be a part of that, to accompany audiophiles in their exploration, it just feels like an incredible privilege. In the end, that's what this journey is all about. <laughs>